Good morning, West Hampton Beach. I'm Dylan. And I'm Big Nick. I can't believe everyone's getting back together again. Yeah, life is starting to feel normal again, but we had to keep wearing our masks to get back to the true normal. We also have to stay safe in spring break coming up. Yup, here's Kylie to show us how to travel safe during COVID-19. Make sure you're wearing your face coverings over your mouth and nose. Wash hands often and thoroughly for at least 20 seconds. Make sure all hotels, restaurants, activities, and more are COVID safe. If you're going to travel over spring break, you do not need to quarantine if you are traveling domestically within the United States, so a, a U.S. state or a U.S. territory. However, if you are traveling nationally or somewhere other than a U.S. state or U.S. territory, you will need to follow guidelines, which is quarantining for seven days and getting a test three to five days into that seven-day quarantine. Now I'm ready for spring break. Well, I'm studying for soccer, but the season's got me pretty banged up. Well, I know the guy just for you, Mr. Leo Graham. Oh yeah, that reminds me, it's National Athletic Trainer Month. Kylie and Emma spoke with Mr. Leo Graham on what it's like to be an athletic trainer. Why did you choose sports med as your career path? I love anatomy and physiology class that I took in college. And speaking with the head athletic trainer there at school, I just, um, got really interested in the field and I started to just to pursue that as a major in, uh, in college. What is your favorite part about your job? It's very gratifying to get to work with athletes, uh, see their recovery process, overcoming injury. It's just satisfying to know that athletes need you. What are some of the challenges of your job? The amount of hours that, that you work. And now I think uh, the biggest challenge is as well the COVID, dealing with uh, multiple athletes at a time and you know having that safety factor. And what does an average day look like in West Hampton Beach for you? Teaching uh, sports medicine. I truly love CPR first aid class. Also teaching physical education and have the opportunity to still continue my first passion, which was sports medicine. Just, uh, my day my day is fun filled with you know student athletes and students, and it's just it's just really gratifying for me. We're lucky to have Mr. Lee Grant as our athletic trainer. Yeah, but watching all that made me hungry. I bet it did. What are you in the mood for? Pizza from my favorite local spot, of course. Where's that? Actually, Will Grant and I went out to seek the best local pizza around. Let's take a look. We visited three pizza places to try and find you the best local pizza. All right, Grant, we're here. Mary's Pizza in Spionk. I'll give this pizza an 8.3. Presentation to me, very good. Got the nice little basil on there, good amount of cheese. Here we go. Very delicious pizza. I'll give this 8.5 out of 10. We're here at East Krog Pizza Deli in East Krog. Can't wait to try the pizza. Overall, I'll give this pizza a 7.9. Here we go. Presentation is very solid. This is actually pretty good. Overall, I give this pizza an 8.1. We're here at Tonino's Pizza in West Hampton Beach. Giving this one a solid 7.9. Here we go. Mmm. I'll give Tonino's Pizza an 8.3. That pizza was so good. It looked good. Yeah, but check out this pizza. That one as well. Dang, how much time do you spend a week looking at pizza? I don't know, probably like an hour a week. That's a lot of time on your phone for pizza, Nick. Yeah, I know, I have a problem. But I wonder how long WHB students spend their time on their phone. Maddie went around to school to find out. So what is your screen time? My screen time is six hours and 58 minutes. What's your screen time? Okay, let me check. Um, five hours. Eight hours and 47 minutes. My screen, screen time is 12 hours and uh, 14 minutes. Let's learn more about how our screen time is really affecting students from our social worker, Miss G. Hi, my name is Mrs. Gephardt. I'm the school social worker. So since, um, since COVID, obviously we've been spending a lot more time on devices, phones, social media. 
teens and, and adults that have a higher screen time tend to report more anxiety, more depression. There is a lot of reports of um, unhealthy sleep habits. Uh, one study that I was reading said that a third of teens actually slept with their phone in their bed and those same teens were reporting that they didn't have good sleep, they didn't feel rested coming to school in the morning. A recommendation maybe would be to charge your phone on the opposite side of your bedroom or in another room at night. There's also a recommendation that you shouldn't be on any screens for an hour before you go to bed. When you're having conversations with your friends, try to put your phone down and just engage in that conversation. Uh, try to connect in another way if you can without a device. If you have an iPhone, you can check your screen time by going to settings and clicking on screen time. I never knew phones could have such a negative impact on us. Yeah, I'm gonna spend less time on my phone and go hiking. Can I come? Yeah! Get off your phones, WHB, and have a fun and safe weekend. We're signing out. Peace. Peace.